Hello guys, my name is Hugo, I'm Los Angeles based DP, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about some gear I stumbled upon uh, recently. It's an entry-level DMX control. It's called Sweet Pocket Wireless DMX Control and it's relatively inexpensive tool. So usually uh, wireless DMX control is uh, it's pretty expensive gear, but this one is only about 340 uh, 340 dollars and it comes with the three wireless receivers I wanted to get more practical understanding how to work with the DMX and wireless DMX con control and I also wanted to have a control over some uh, some of my lights that are not aperture because I really got used to aperture sidus link and uh, it, it's so good that sometimes uh, you want all lights to be with side thing but unfortunately we don't have this luxury and i have some other lights that are cool and i, I, lo I love to work with um, and uh, aperture doesn't make any alternative to those like a light mat and all that kind of stuff you know and uh, for those lights sometimes when i use like actually very often when i use different lights i want to have some kind of uh, common control over the slides and for this reason you need to use it something like a dmx control so I found this solution and it was really interesting because I can, uh, a lot of small jobs, I don't have to use many lights, usually it's about three lights. And it's really cool that I can, I could just plug in these receivers and I can control uh, basic settings from this control unit. So uh, it's, since it doesn't have a, a monitor a screen. Uh, it's hard to control some kind of special effects on lights, but things like uh, basic things like intensity or a color temperature or a color, you know, like if you want to do some different colors, if your unit is RGB, you can easily do it from this unit. This unit pretty much has eight channels, which uh, seems to be more than enough. Quite honestly, if you if you if if you work with the jobs like i said you don't have to use many lights because like very often when you have like an interview or like uh, like any pretty much small jobs where you don't have to use crazy amount of lights you you, you can just plug those lights and uh, see behind your monitor or camera and just adjust brightness color temperature whatever you like like uh, recently i had the project where i shot um a procedure on the face and we had multicom setup we had four cameras uh, and the the complexity of this procedure was that the talent had to go around um, the around the the other person to do these procedures on the face and we had we had primary we had the uh, one side of the light where it was a primary key light we also had some lights on the other side and actually when this person was covering the other side of the key light then I had to increase the output from the other side of the light so I was using this unit and it was really cool because even with the app like Sidus Link app I wouldn't be able to control light without looking at it and because this one has tactical the physical buttons and physical, sli physical sliders it was so easy for me to look at the screen and uh, precisely navigate what I want and I, I was able to smoothly uh, increase the uh, in intensity on the light uh, I needed to use at the moment and put it back when I don't need it. So it was really useful uh, for me to do this job with this unit. So eight channels, it seems to be like you can program, or originally I thought that if I have eight channels I'm gonna use uh, each channel for each light, but it turned out to be when you use DMX, basically when you plug a DMX and actually use it with different lights I have and it works absolutely fine pretty much with all of them quite honestly I had all bicolors so on a single color or RGB it's it able to control all of them basically uh, usually when you plug it in uh, the light by itself reserves uh, three or four channels depending on what kind of light you have like for instance if it's gonna be just a single co single color then you're gonna have only this uh, 
uh, control over intensity if you have like a bicolor color unit you're gonna have intensity and you're gonna have um, uh, color temperature and then you have maybe some some special effects if you have uh, like an over an RGB unit you, then it's uh, when you set it up it's basically uh, gonna give you control of intensity color temperature or maybe some RGB lights and some maybe effects and also in Nova you can actually choose uh, what what kind of uh, setup mode you want to use for DMX control? But what's what's interesting, like you now, like for instance, you chose channel one on DMX on the on the light by itself, then it's gonna jump on the channel one in here. But by default, if you do like if you choose channel one, then channel two, channel three, and channel four is gonna be reserved by the same light. And if you want to assign a different light to channel two. Uh, you're not gonna be able to do this. You have to pick a channel five because the previous channels will be reserved by the previous light. So it's just just a thin idea know how to, how it works and I found out this by actually working with this unit. Uh, but it's not a big deal quite honestly. even though you use so much so much of uh, buttons and sliders, these the toggles are uh, on a first light. What you also can do, you can group light and they, you can choose, uh, there is like seven groups and they are assigned by different colors. And you can basically assign a group of lights uh, that uh, you want to control. And that's really interesting because it's rare when you need to use every single light separately. Most often when you have like lights, you want them to be um, within the same group. Like for instance, I, like I had, I had one side of the lights assigned for one group where I do when where I increase intensity and all of the slides on the side, they basically respond in the same way. They increase intensity or they change uh, color temperature. And that was really useful. And then I had another group assigned to another side of the lights where I also could control. So when you assign groups, then those eight channels quite honestly more than enough because you're basically using only a few of them since you assigned on the group. So very interesting tool to, to play. And if you're looking to get some kind of an entry level um, DMX control, that's probably a really good unit. So as I already mentioned before, the unit comes with three units, three receivers. And if it's not enough, you can just buy more receivers and they only 50 bucks, which is really cheap considering other receivers usually way more expensive. So you can buy, I don't know how many you can buy, but probably you can buy many receivers because I don't know, uh, feels like you can, assign on a group on and one channel as many as lights as you want so you can buy extra if three is not enough you can buy i probably would buy another three so i have more control over the lights but it it, it is pretty cool and uh, the only downside with this one that uh, a power solution so you have to think about power solution because this required to be powered and you have to use uh, a usb cable and some lights do have a usb output some lights don't actually most of the lights i think don't have a USB, like uh, all my lights I tried, they didn't have a USB, and I just had to come up. I, I had to, I just had to buy a cheap uh, power bank, which was uh, around ten bucks or something. And basically, I well, I put a Velcro on it, and I'm gonna put another side of Velcro on my lights I wanna use, and I'm gonna slip on it, and that's super easy. You're just gonna power it, and it's probably gonna last forever since this unit doesn't require much light. But uh, lights like a sky panel actually has already built in USB output. So you can just power it through the USB on the unit. So in conclusions, it's a, it's a very interesting unit. I would say it's not gonna replace the whole big uh, DMX control box, but for simple stuff, when you, again, when you don't have to use many lights, and you, can, you, you just want to have some basic control over intensity, over color temperature, then it's a great unit. Um, and I feel like I'm going to be using this unit a lot since it's so easy to use. Okay, I hope this information was useful for you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.